Ravens. For the Workers' Party, which has six MPs in the House, issues of cost of living, rising housing prices, medical expenses and ministerial salaries were on their radar screen. The general feeling among Singaporeans during the general elections, and even now, is that the government is more concerned with paying its minister well than about the welfare of the people. I think the government must ask itself why Singaporeans feel and think this way. To accuse the Singapore government, the PAP government, as a cabinet, a team of ministers led by the prime ministers, as individuals who are only interested in our self-interest, and that we come to politics to enrich ourselves, to take care of our interests at the expense of the people, I think I'm lost of words to describe my feeling inside. I think let us be political leaders, worrying about the future of Singapore, worry about the future of Singaporeans. Let us put Singaporean first, put Singapore first, not PAP first, not Workers' Party first. The final day also saw more ministers taking part in the debate. Several of them stood up to defend the government's position following opposition MP Lao Tia Kiang's speech. The MP for Aljunit GRC said the government should thank opposition parties for allowing Singaporeans to exercise their right to vote and express their views. He also commended various ministries for becoming more responsive to issues on the ground. This sparked off debate in the House that he was claiming credit for for the positive changes after the recent general election. The opposition parties have also enabled the government to awaken to the problems on the ground that it had thought were manageable. Though the political system is not a level playing field for opposition parties, the political will and majority of the voters mitigated this unfair system. In what way does it think that the field is not level? for the opposition party. Simply put it, that the GRC system is something which has not given the opposition a level playing field. Mr Lau, in his address earlier, basically claimed credits for everything, all the positive changes that have taken place uh, since the general election. Let's not be politician and just keep worrying about votes. I think let us be political leaders worrying about the future of Singapore. Let us put Singaporean first, put Singapore first, not PAP first, not Workers' Party first. On the contrary, sir, I actually commented the PAP's uh, resilience in response uh, to the ground reaction after the election. And I say this August well for Singapore. I have not claimed any credit that the Workers' Party has made the PAP do that. And the I mean, who should really claim the credit? Probably the voters. Education.